a startup in the uh, location space. So my question is, uh, what are the trends that you see in the mobile and location space? And to be specific, like how do you see Google's participation in that uh, space? Sure. Well, I think that the mobile and location-based space is really exciting, which is one of the reasons why I moved over to working on it last last fall. It's growing incredibly quickly. As I said, like now more than ever, you start to see people like, yes, they used to do search every day. Yes, they used to do email every day. Now they're using maps on their phone every day. Uh, because, yes, sometimes you need to know to get where you're going, but you also want to know who's around you. What's, what businesses are around you that you would like? Is there a good place to stop for dinner nearby? All of those types of things. And to the degree that we can take maps and personalize them, is they say, look, you know, what's the map that makes sense for this user right now? Can we tell them where their friends are in Google Latitude? Can we recommend places? We had launched a feature called Hot Pot that was a big success. Uh, it allowed people to rate businesses, and then we gave them personalized recommendations back. In the first five months, we actually had more than five million ratings come in from users. So we've rolled that up into Google Places, and you can now use this on the Google Places app, but it really tries to personalize this understanding of the space around you. So those are the types of things that we're really interested in. How can we personalize maps and make them even more useful? Today, Google Maps for Mobile has 150 million mobile users. Uh, and the mobile trend for maps is, is just off like a rocket. You know, we announced at South by Southwest back in March that 40% of our maps traffic was on the phone, with only 60% being on desktop. Uh, and now we're in a situation where on the weekends we actually get more traffic from mobile phones than we get from desktop overall. And obviously once that crossover happens, it's never going to go back, right? I mean, maps are wonderful on desktop and they're a really important service to provide. But when you start to add that notion of your phone having GPS and it knows where you are, and it can help you find your way around, it really is a killer application, much like voice and texting. So we really want to figure out how to take those applications, launch the next generation of those, and keep making them more and more useful. Because we do think almost everyone who has a phone should be using maps on that phone and should be really getting the most out of it.